living in the past is depression. Living in the future is anxiety. Just don't do that. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful internet friends. I'm Mr. Backward. This is how the whole video is gonna go. internet friends welcome back to my channel I would like to introduce you to one of my very best friends Megan Hello. so a while ago someone suggested that I do a reaction video to r slash wow thanks I'm cured and I figured who better to do this with than Megan so both of us have dealt with mental illness over the years I've dealt with depression and panic attacks and PTSD it's a fun time and you've Super dealt fun. with mental illnesses so as people who have some experience in this realm <laughs> we're gonna go learn how to fix ourselves <laughs> I don't know about you, Megan, but I'm really looking forward to standing up from here. Cured person. Complete. Yeah, because the internet usually tells you how to put your pieces back together very well. Generally speaking, mm -hmm. that's true. We both have had, oh, so many beautiful experiences with people curing our depression. So we're going to be going through this Reddit thread as my dogs bark outside. Let's see what wisdom the internet has for us. Most people never heal because they stay in their heads, replaying corrupted uh, okay. scenarios. Let it go. <laughs> I am yeah. partial to corrupted scenarios, personally. That's Sadie. my favorite thing to do when I'm trying to sleep. Um, coming up with the worst possible scenarios of yes. what's going to happen the next day. I basically have a play going on in my head all the time. 24-7, <laughs> worst things that could happen. How my life is going to be terrible. So, I don't know why I never thought of that before. Thanks, S. McNutt. S. McNutt. <laughs> We're in middle school, I apologize. Thank you, S. McNutt. <laughs> well, thanks, we're cured. Where would we be without you? <laughs> my advice uh -huh. to everyone always, be happy and nothing will bring you to, oh my god. <laughs> That's like a Facebook post too, I know. right? Who's aunt posted that right before Christmas Who's aunt dinner. aunt posted this shit? <laughs> if you're weak-minded, yeah. um, you obviously are not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt yourself um, there. Just, you know. Oh. <laughs> Having a panic attack? <laughs> Don't worry. I love that it. it's it. like That's it's like it. it's like a husband and a wife, like it's like on their wedding day having a panic attack. Don't worry, marry him anyway. It's like what? <laughs> what is that Everything's fine. <laughs> if you rearrange the letters in depression, you'll get <laughs> I pressed on. Well, I mean like sure. Yeah. They're not wrong. Do you ever find something that helpful? Like mm, I phrases? okay, I personally think it's really cheesy. It's like live, laugh, love. Yeah. That type of stuff. I'm like, mm, that's lame. <laughs> yes. Or more meaningful ways to like encourage somebody. Yes. Rather than just like, I pressed on, live, laugh, love. Yeah. Be happy. I would I agree. Know. Stuff like this. I don't know. If it helps you, comment down below. I saved your coffee oh. from the dogs. Sleep paralysis is for the weak minded. Oh God, this is a good start. <laughs> if one is powerful enough, they can simply will themselves out of sleep paralysis. What What the fuck is sleep paralysis? So I've actually had it before. It's when you wake up, but you cannot, like you can't move. Oh yeah. And But you're kind of conscious of things. Uh -huh. weak you're weak minded. <laughs> move, just move. Cause that's not what I was screaming the whole time in my head. I Wait. wonder what McNutt would have to say about this. I, I think he would say, let it go. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Living in the past is depression. Living in the future is anxiety. Just don't do that. <laughs> cool, thanks. Uh, cool, thanks. What? New facial muscle, smile exercising. So does it, it does bizarre. What? Does it make you smile? I don't know, she doesn't look very happy there. They don't look like they're smiling. They look like they're being <laughs> tortured. <laughs> don't buy this. Link in bio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's easy to fall into the trap of being hopeless for one reason or another. You feel like, shit, I don't want to take that away from you. I would never want to discount that fact, okay? But if I can ask one favor from you, pretend. Pretend that your pain is temporary. Pretend that this is just a mind cold. What's a mind cold? <laughs> Start at 10 minutes a day and just keep moving up. It might take weeks, it might take years, it might seem absurd, and hell, it might even seem to make things worse. <laughs> Highlighting the reality of your situation. Well, yes, that would make sense. But over time, I know you will transcend all self-doubt. Okay, I know. Creative outlet to cure depression. Okay. Stitch quotes like these onto pillows. <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> People walk in and they have to like stop conversation and stare at your pillow for like 45 seconds. Terrible advice. Yeah, I think it is too. Well, and I've met a lot of people who, you know, kind of follow this pretending to be okay and they, they almost like trick themselves that everything's fine and it's almost just a different form of denial. Yeah. And so then it's yeah. just avoiding the problem rather than um, 
you know, actually working through it and admitting that like stuff sucks because <laughs> yeah. that's okay. And that type of avoidance I think can lead to like a lot of um, dysfunctional tendencies. Yeah. How do you guys cope with sadness? We tell someone we're sad and they tell us, don't be sad. <laughs> and then we stop being sad. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that's so accurate. Mine is the last one. <laughs> How to fight loneliness. Mm. Just, just smile. smile all the time. How would that fight loneliness? <laughs> <laughs> just, like, my face would have hurt. Sure, hurts. but like loneliness? Like, <laughs> my smile doesn't make me feel less lonely. <laughs> or like, if you're like 24 7, will you attract more people? <laughs> it would make you more lonely. <laughs> Wilco, I have to disagree. <laughs> well, thanks, Wilco. I'm cured. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god. This is so morbid. <laughs> this is so dark. I didn't quite expect that. Don't even know what this I I'm kind of shocked right now. <laughs> Looking all sad, tying a rope around a ceiling fan and like holding like a like a noose, like the loop in their hand. And then it says, no matter what situation you're in, happiness is, is a choice. choice. And then it shows them just like like rope swinging on it. Smiling. He looked very upset as he was setting up his rope swing. I'm sure that's But then he, he chose to be happy and decided to swing instead. At world's fact. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just try to calm down next time. <laughs> Megan, amazing things will happen to you today. <laughs> Can't say it. <laughs> you choose not to be a miserable cow. Okay. Oh my God. It's really just shaming it's moms not. whose milk production decreases. Right. <laughs> well, it's shaming moms who are like stressed and depressed. Like, guess yeah. what? When you have a baby, you <laughs> are both stressed <laughs> and, and depressed. <laughs> Thanks, internet. Yeah, that's super helpful. I'm sorry. I have to say it, but you look like you're sad and your smile is gone. I noticed it bad. The cure is <laughs> if you let in just a little more love, I promise you, a little is enough. No, it's not. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> The grammar Thanks, is Tom. terrible. I noticed it bad. Tom, I noticed it bad. <laughs> well, I think we all knew we were gonna come across one oh, of these. Oh no. Someone told me this the other day about chronic pain. Generally speaking, like it's generally accepted in the medical community that if you've had chronic pain, I think technically it's more than six months, I'm gonna give us the benefit of the doubt and say 18. Mm -hmm. That it's probably not gonna go away. Right. Um, I've been to the Mayo Clinic, I've been everywhere. I deal with chronic pain. And someone said, someone who knows what they're talking about said this to me the other day. I was like, it's probably not gonna go away. And they're like, ah, I don't know, the body's programmed to heal itself. So, I mean, you're, yeah, I was just like, that's not helpful. <laughs> that's actually pretty, no. pretty crappy to no. hear. Like, that's is my body so just broken? Especially for stuff like um, mental illness. I know a lot of people yeah. really are against taking medication, which, you know, I get that's your prerogative. Yeah. But at the same time, the reason people take medication is because your brain is not producing enough of the neurotransmitters it needs. And the medication just gives you a boost to help it with that. Yeah. And it's like af after some time, you can wean off of it and like be like self-regulating and functioning without them. Like it's, yeah. not a like it's not a life sentence to take medication. And it's just saying that, this is basically just saying the same thing. Like it's just like, just be better. Yeah. You'll get better, just heal yourself, you know? I feel like that last sentence, like pills only mask and suppress the symptoms. That can be super necessary to survive. Yeah. Like masking and suppressing certain symptoms of certain things as you learn coping mechanisms, as you find a support system, as you like figure yeah. out what the hell's going on, can be precisely what you need. Yeah. I'm not like agreeing totally. with this at all, but mm -hmm. like exactly what you said. It's right. not, if you, if you choose to take medication and that's totally a personal choice, mm -hmm. you can always come off of it. I was just, uh, that's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, hold on just one second. I do want to be rich. I'm just gonna go do it. Just go do it. Gonna... See you later. Yeah. Share your wealth with me. <laughs> no, Megan, Please. you're clearly just disenfranchised. <laughs> no, just... You need to go do it yourself. I just need to go do it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, this is our friend again. <laughs> is this McNutt again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry if your last name is McNutt. It's just... Today. <laughs> Make your life hard by always being in your head. Life is simple. Get out of your head and get into the moment. <laughs> Stick nut. Where would we be without you, my man? No. <laughs> you want to be happy? Be so. It's very Yoda-like. <laughs> Just be.
be so happy. Be so happy. <laughs> Ouch. Facts. It says facts. facts. <laughs> Nobody really cares if you're miserable, so you might as well be happy. <laughs> it's like the bottle cap just gave you like a massive middle finger. <laughs> I'm gonna make a thousand fortune cookies. <laughs> so They're just that. horrible. Nobody cares about you. Just stop being miserable, bitch. <laughs> Signed, McNutt. Again, in theory, you're not wrong. In execution, you're horrible. <laughs> Instead, just don't. <laughs> It's that simple. That's simple. <laughs> I thought she was eating the couch. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. It's that simple. <laughs> You're hurt. Please unhurt. Please deactivate. Please deactivate. <laughs> Please unhurt. <laughs> Please press unhurt button on machine. <laughs> deactivating. I would really like to. <laughs> oh. I feel this memories. on a personal level. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've had a lot of this because I grew up in the church. Have you uh, <clears throat> experienced this as well? Yeah. Just I've just heard it a lot like when dealing with depression or other mental illnesses, just like, just don't worry. You know, God will take care of it. Yeah. Just like trust in him and you'll be fine, which I know is well-meaning and everything. Yeah. But also it devalidates what you're going through. Yeah. And you know, like why can't God take care of it through therapy or yeah. antidepressants or you know different sources like ignoring it isn't like and just waiting for god to cure it isn't gonna like Do isn't it. validating the issue that's happening yeah seriously you know I, mean? I think that's a really good way of putting it because i do think that many people when i've been in dark places who have been like you know don't worry like give it to god or god's gonna take care of it they legitimately want to help and that's how they know how to help, like that's what's worked for them. But I think you're right, it really devalues it. I can't even. Nope, we're just gonna... I'm gonna go buy that one. <laughs> Plenty of... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't even know how to describe this one. <laughs> just yes. <laughs> we can improve mental health, save money, and boost the economy all in one go. Wait, how? <laughs> I need to know how. Where's the answer? <laughs> Who do I need to follow? McNutt? <laughs> Boy, it's probably Does him. he have the answers? You can't be sad for too long because then that means you choosing to be sad. You choosing. <laughs> you choosing. You choosing to you be choosing. sad. You choosing. You <laughs> choosing. There's so much choice in the world of like, yeah. A horrible mental health advice. I know. Just choose not to be suicidal. Yeah. Just that, because that's how it works. Stop it. Yes. Hi, monkey. Oh. Hey, monk. This is the culprit. If you have a German Shepherd, you really need to get them <laughs> one of these balls. I'm confused as to why he just couldn't say, you know what, I'm not going to kill myself. Oh my god. Great. The amount of helpful that that is, is overwhelming. Well, and just like, suicide is such an epidemic, and to like, spread bullshit like this, it just makes me sick. Uh, stuff like this like, actually makes me angry. Yeah. Like, it stops being funny. I'm like, you know what? I'd like to sit you down and have a long monologue at you. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's the kind of punishment I want to give you. <laughs> Depression is 100%. Snowflakes being weak and crying because they are a little sad. Nut the fuck up and find something to do besides cry. <laughs> Did McNutt write this one? <laughs> Did McNutt write this? <laughs> Hashtag McNutt the fuck up. <laughs> It's just <laughs> all in our heads. <laughs> we are crazy oh. after all. <laughs> yeah, you really can't trust anything in this video because no, we're female. No, unstable. <laughs> oh yes, the uh, baggage scenario where you just leave. You just take off your backpack. Yes, you leave what you've been carrying yeah, behind you. Yeah, leave it you. behind. My favorite. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's like some Joker shit. <laughs> Put a smile on that face. Nice. In life hand you depression, curve a smile out of your face. Thanks, happy watermelon. That's horrifying. <laughs> Deep down inside, you know the truth. That's you people. Listen up. The truth is that you can do this. The truth is that if you gave it 100%, you get 100%. The truth is, it's all up to you. Because we are all, we can all give 100%, 100% of the time. I feel like that needs a hell yeah and a high five. <laughs> <Yes>. Woo! <laughs> Hashtag week nut. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. This has been a... Oh, hi. Hello, you are just dying for attention, aren't you? So there you have it. Let me know if this cured you. I <laughs> Nick is here for you. Let us know if he cured you, really. <laughs> he cured me. <laughs> he cures me every day. <laughs> yeah, so this is all terrible mental health advice and please do not follow any of it. And if you want to have a good time, go to r slash well, thanks, I'm cured. It's frightening. And I think the only proper thing to do is laugh at how much terrible mental health advice there is out there. If you're actually struggling with mental health issues, first of all, that's 
pretty common. You're not alone, you're not weird. And secondly, there's a lot of help out there. I would personally recommend seeing a counselor. That works for some people, not everybody. Maybe talking to a doctor or a friend. What would you recommend? Um, counseling, mm -hmm. um, medication if that's right for you. Mm -hmm. Talk to a psychiatrist or a nurse practitioner. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a therapist or a doctor, someone you trust, someone close to you who would listen without judgment, sometimes even like without advice. And that can be a good thing to say before you start talking if you don't want advice. Like, I don't want advice, I just need somebody to listen. Or yeah. if you do want advice, you know, have that as a precursor. Because some people don't know how to listen, so if you help them, tell them how to listen to you, that can be helpful. That's really true and really important because a lot of people want to, want to help, but we don't do a great job of educating each other on how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry about how sad many of these posts actually were. <laughs> we're basically just gonna cry for the next hour. <laughs> we laughed, we laughed it out, Katie's yes. Face. <laughs> Sweet, sweet uh, leopard print tears. <laughs> but I love you guys. I'm thinking about you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.